loved ones. Let's take a journey. That was California Girls by Katy Perry featuring Snoop Dogg. And we played it straight from the charts of the Morristown Uke Jam. So take the link in the video description, download the free ukulele song sheet, grab your own ukulele, and you can play right along with this video. And if you'll be anywhere near Morristown, New Jersey, come out and play with us. In just a moment, I'll do a basic tutorial covering everything I just played. At the very end, I'll do a slow motion close-up play along that you might find helpful. But right now, if you like the video, please like the video with a thumbs up. If you want lots more, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want over a thousand more free downloadable ukulele song sheets, each with a link to its own free video tutorial and play along just like this one, then check out our Dropbox and then come play with us. Okay, this has, uh, this has some, an odd strum. And I find it difficult to do, or I found it, it sounded much better with uh, Kathy playing the Wiro. Um, she was playing a Wiro that gave some percussion right on, in a backbeat. Like that one, two, three, four, one, two, three. 
three, four. I found that easier to, to follow along, but uh, I'll show you the strum. Almost the entire song is this. One, two, three, four, one, two, uh, so one, two, three, four. Anyway, I, I, I tried to count it out. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I, I'm not sure if it really works that way, but that's the way I that's the way I counted it out. Again, virtually the entire song is those chords. You don't have to play them the way I did. That is to say, uh, the C and the D minor have little superscripted numbers after them in the same color. Whenever you see that, you can ignore them if you want, but if you ignore them, it'll sound like this. It doesn't quite sound the same. In the, in the song, it steps up. And these chords aren't crazy hard. They're not. But uh, a D minor, here's a standard D minor, right? And, sorry, that's also D minor. I'm not sure what the next position is, but, oh yeah, that's also, so like, here's your first position, second position, third position, fourth. Fourth is not that hard. Just bar the fifth fret and put one finger there, and that's it. Plus, I'm going up from this C, right? I, I did A minor, B flat. That B flat, I just slide up two frets. That's it. Just slide it up, and that's my C, and then slide it up two more frets. My, my ring finger is, is just uh, sliding all the way, right? But just bar on with your index finger, and that's it. That's all that is. All right, now the pre-chorus is a little different. The, the chorus was exactly like I just described, the same four chords and the same pattern, <laughs> exactly the same. The pre-chorus is more of an even strum. You can travel the world. That's it. That's it to the pre-chorus, and that's it for the entire song. The entire song is just that. Highly repetitive, and yet brilliant, because I never got bored. If I wrote a song that, that was that repetitive, you would get bored after the third time I did it. I am not bored in this song at all. That says something about the brilliance of Katy Perry and Snoop Dogg. They could do such a repetitive song, and yet I'm not bored at all. Anyway, all right. So I think now I'm just going to play... Slow motion, close up on, I tell you what, I'll show you both hands so you can follow along with the strum. Uh, but I'm gonna go from the intro through the uh, first chorus in slow motion. And tell you what, the, uh, on the intro, I'm not, I don't remember if I, if I did this when we just played it together, when I played it with Kathy. But to make it sound a little bit more authentic, if you just pluck the low strings, the first, Greetings, loved ones. Right? Then it'll it'll start out. Uh, it starts out a little uh, more sedate, a little bit more like uh, like the original uh, recording. So that's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to show you both hands, but we're going to play in slow motion. Start with that A minor. Five, six, seven, and. Just two strings first. Greetings, loved ones. Let's take a journey. Now the strum. I know a place where the grass is really greener. Warm, wet and wild. Must be so Live. 
Sorry, I'm screwing up. difficult to sing while playing. I don't find it at all difficult to play while somebody else is singing. So if you find the same difficulty, then just get a singer and play it together with that person. One of you plays, one of you sings. Uh, I found it much easier. Anyway, all right, that's it. Have fun. See you Wednesday. Bye.